Okay, so uh, I wanted to share with you um, just a couple of the challenges from yesterday uh, and how to go about answering a couple of them. So uh, in particular, challenge number eight, but I'm also going to backtrack and also show challenge number four. Now, in these challenges, um, we have to get the purple shape to overlap the white shape, okay? Yeah, this one was among the more challenging ones, and in one of my classes, um, some students had arrived at this challenge but had not solved it, so I just want to kind of walk through what the solutions will involve, okay? So first off, um, when we are moving this purple shape into this white hole, obviously we have a couple of tra transformations that we know that we're going to need, okay? The number one thing is, or number one sign is that, well, if I look at this purple shape, is it the same size as the hole that it has to go into? So if it's a different size, then I'm going to need to do which of the transformations out of that I have uh, as a choice. If I translate it, rotate it, reflect it, or dilate it, which one of those will influence the size of the shape? Derek says dilate, and so does Ullman, and anyone else that said dilate in their head, that is what you are looking for. So when we dilate this shape, we will have to decrease the size because the hole is smaller, okay? And yeah, we could dilate it first, but there's also another transformation that you know for a fact you're going to need. Because the object is contained within an obstacle, there's no way for us to just use a translation to move it out, because if I do, it's going to break the shape, so I can't use a translation to get it out. So the only option I have, is it, as, as uh, in the chat we're, we're seeing there, is indeed a reflection. So the only thing that allows you to move through an obstacle is completing a reflection. Um, there's obviously multiple ways that I can reflect it out of here, but let's go ahead and just use the bottom as an example, okay? So if I'd reflect it using this line, I will flip that shape out of that area, okay? And then you can say, all right, well, so we reflected it out of there, and then I have to eventually reflect it back in there too, okay? And notice that this particular, uh, sorry, current orientation is not conducive to that. So let me go ahead and rotate it and get that out of here. So let's say, if I rotate it, I believe that's the right spot to put it, and I can play with it. Yep, I got it, okay? So I can rotate it to kind of orient it in a way that I can flip it and put it in, okay? But now remember, I also need to change the size of it, okay? So I'm going to dilate, and this time let's, let's put the center here just so I can keep these two lined up to make it easy to reflect. I can always, I, and if you didn't do that, you can always translate it later, but it does add that extra step. And the goal is that you... Um, the goal is that you want to try to use as few moves as possible, okay? So let's dilate it. If I use a scale factor of two, that's not going to accomplish what I'm trying to do because I want to make the shape smaller. So what's a good scale factor that maybe I should use? Which, yeah, like one half would work good, right? So 0 0.5, I hit submit. Okay, now that makes a little bit more sense, right? So now this looks like it's about the same size as these two, right? So then the last step, go ahead, Ms. Callahan. So you know with the scale factor, if the scale factor is one, it stays the same, right? If mm -hmm. it's two, it's twice as big. So he put half because he wanted it to be half the size. He wanted it to decrease. He's shrinking right. it. So Ms. Callahan just mentioning that, right, so remember the size of the scale factor determines whether we are increasing or decreasing the shape. So because I chose half as my scale factor, um, that means I'm going to be decreasing the size of the shape by half of its original amount. Then the last thing to do is to get it back into the box. I need to do a reflection. So I'm going to put this line about halfway between, actually exactly halfway between. Let me make sure I think I got it. Let's turn it in and submit it. And indeed, it does. okay. And if your rotations or your dilation, it's okay for um, it's okay for you to kind of add in a translation or something to position it into a spot where you can accomplish that. Otherwise, also remember that if you perform a transformation and you don't like something about it. You can always hit the pencil icon and make an adjustment as opposed to adding in a fresh transformation, okay? So that's one of the challenges um, that there were some questions about. There are other, uh, another one that I saw a lot of people, um, another people, another thing, another challenge I saw a lot of people uh, have questions about was actually the fourth challenge, uh, which is this one right here, okay? With this particular challenge, getting the shape to line up properly um, seemed to be an issue for some people, okay? So with rotation, for example, we would want to rotate this shape. So maybe I'll do that like a clockwise rotation to kind of look at it like that, right? And then 
Um, actually, if I, I can try to do it with, let's see if I can get it to line up. Oops, that's a little too, too far there. Um, I could do that, but no, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna kind of go with what I, where I had it. So let's go over there, okay? And if I wanna make it bigger, because I do have to make it bigger this time, right? Actually, I'm gonna put my center here. Let me see if that works. I'd almost put it right over it, right over it, right? I could always play with that later, but like if I wanted to just give it a little nudge to the right and then reflect it, right? So we can accomplish all of those things and get that to line up, okay? It can be done in three, but it does involve you taking this translation out, getting it to rotate so it's right on top or above it in such a way that you can reflect it, okay? So that's Transformation Golf. That's what you worked on yesterday. I am going to...